our second last destination here in India. We have finally made it to Varanasi and this is our first morning exploring the ghats. Yeah, and this is one of the must visit destinations that we mm. planned in our, our itinerary. I, I visited back in 2010 and it just it's a fascinating place to visit. It's the kind of place where you don't really have a, a set schedule. You just kind of wander around the ghats and take it all in. And at different yes. times of day, there's different types of things happening. So it's it's one of those places that you just return to all throughout the day and something fascinating is always going on here. Yeah, and I mean, we've been here in the morning just for maybe a little under an hour and we have seen so much already. There's people doing laundry, there's like people having their breakfast, there's goats wandering yeah. around. There's people bathing in the Ganges. People are bathing. There's the burning ghats are already uh, are happening, people are being cremated yeah. basically. So yeah, there's a lot going on and mm -hmm. just a lot to take in. So it's the kind of place where you stroll around slowly and you stop frequently. Ghats is the word used to describe the steps that lead down to the river's edge. There are a total of 87 ghats in Varanasi, some bigger than others, but we just focused on a handful, starting at Dasha Shwamid Ghat and working our way down. Along the way, we saw former palaces built by royal families, cheap guest houses that cater to backpackers, and plenty of temples. So when we were in Agra a few days ago, I overheard a few girls saying how they had been in Varanasi and they refused to get any laundry done because they saw people doing laundry on the Ganges River. And I thought, okay, they're probably exaggerating, that doesn't actually happen. But now we're out here and we're seeing hotel bed sheets and hotel towels being washed by hand in the river. And I have to say, I'm kind of horrified. I probably will not be handing in any laundry while I'm here. Just a bit further downstream, we came to Manikarnika Ghat, also known as the Burning Ghat, where bodies are cremated. Hindus believe the cremation on the banks of the Ganges River can break the cycle of reincarnation, which is why many choose to die here. If you decide to visit the Burning Ghat, be aware that camera use is not allowed and you'll have to keep your distance. As lively as the Ganges is by day, we also made time to visit by night so we could watch the Ganja Arti ceremony. This is a fire worship ceremony that takes place at Dashashwamid Ghat with lots of singing, chanting, burning candles and billowing incense. You can watch the ceremony from the steps or aboard the boats for a small fee, but either way you'll want to arrive early to claim a spot as it gets very busy. Okay, so we made it down to the gods. It looks like the ceremony is about to begin. We got Sam's parents some seats up on a balcony by the temple, so we're gonna get great views. It's like their VIP seats, what we paid 50, yeah. 50 rupees each. 50 rupees, and we're gonna run around We're gonna run a film like crazy. So. See you in a bit. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do here in Varanasi is just wander around, like go exploring through the whole town. It's just like a labyrinth, it's like a maze. There's so much people watching, there's a lot of animals, there's a lot of cows. There's also a lot of opportunities to shop as well, so I'm going to show you some of that. So I don't know if you guys can hear this, but we're standing by the window here in our hotel room. And the honking never ends. You know what? I, I would love to just get uh, a thing of popcorn and sit right down here because this is like the best entertainment ever. Oh my gosh. Just outside. Like it is absolute madness. Like pan to this. Show, show what's I, going on. I feel like I'm slowly losing my mind. There is honking from sun up yeah. to sundown. 
it this never is, ends. Yeah, this is probably one of the busiest like intersection roundabouts in the city because mm-hmm. we're really close to some of the main gats. And yeah. And there's just a lot of all kinds of things happening here. I mean, you see cows, you see people, you see auto rickshaws, you see pedal rickshaws, there's vehicles. It's just absolute madness. And I'm going to go down on street level and capture some of that for you. Yeah, and Sam is going by himself because there is no way I'm subjecting myself to that. It's a solo <laughs> mission. A solo mission. Bye! Oh, no, thank you. Gosh, that cow's still there. This is gonna be the best time lapse ever. It's just been eating from the same thing. But you seem friendly. Do you want little pets? I don't have food, but I can give you little pets. Hello, cow. Hello, cow. Hello. Lastly, it wouldn't have been a proper trip to Varanasi without taking a boat ride down the Ganges River. We were up before the crack of dawn to meet our boatmen, and our early morning wake-up call was rewarded with one of the best sunrises we saw in India. So confession time, we were the only two willing to, to wake up this early and get out on a boat, so I think we deserve a, a few uh, brownie points for that, yeah. huh? Uh, maybe, maybe even a Snickers bar. Maybe a Snickers bar. We, we bought a whole bunch of Snickers bars to take on the train later today. So yeah, we definitely deserve this. But it's, it's a pretty special uh, moment. Like, never in my wildest dreams would I think, you know, the two of us would be out here in India, out in the Ghats in Varanasi. But yet here we are. It's pretty yeah. awesome, huh? It's uh, really neat. Uh, no matter what time of day you come down here, it's uh, always something going on. And, you know, if you come down at the peak times, you'll see... Uh, festival or yep. uh, in the early in the morning or late at night yeah exactly and we, we, we've we've been exploring at all times of day so this has been really cool and we're just kind of wrapping things up here we've got a train to catch to Calcutta later today so yeah our last time here at the Ghats yeah it's uh, it's I'm gonna be a little sad to leave them actually I know it's it's, it's, it's been a great experience and it's been it's been really cool uh, traveling with you guys too yeah well it's uh, always special traveling with you two I know that uh, it's like having two personal uh, guides along <laughs> at the same time with a lot of knowledge to boot. here in Varanasi at the train station. We've done all of our travel in India by train, so it's kind of appropriate that our, our very last journey to Calcutta is by train. So yeah, we're just, our train's been delayed by four hours, so we've just been waiting a really long time, and now we're getting uh, ready to board. Hopefully it's coming soon.